Have you ever wondered if the past still exists etched somewhere in the fabric of time and space? Welcome to our journey into the mysteries of the cosmos. Today we're venturing into the enigma of the past, the concept of time and space. Simple, right? Or is it? We measure time in seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. But what if everything we thought we knew about time and space was just the surface of a vast cosmic ocean? For instance, think about the theory of relativity established by the great mind of Albert Einstein. This theory shook the foundations of our understanding of the universe, challenging the intuitive way we perceive time and space. According to relativity, space and time are intertwined in a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. And get this, space-time is not a static stage where events unfold, but rather, it's a dynamic entity that bends, stretches, and warps under the influence of mass and energy. Now if you're picturing a rubber sheet bending under the weight of a bowling ball, you're on the right track. But remember, this is a simplification of something profoundly complex and fundamentally different from our day-to-day -day experiences. So, how does this relate to our initial question about the past? Well, if time is not a steady river flowing from the past to the future, but rather a flexible component of space-time that can be affected by gravity and speed, then our understanding of the past, present and future becomes a lot less clear-cut. What if the past isn't just a collection of memories and historical records, but an actual place, or a state that still exists somewhere in the cosmos? What if, when we look at the stars we're not just peering into distant space, but also into the distant past? Yes, it's a mind-bending concept to grasp, but that's the beauty of it. It's the enigma that keeps space-time scholars up at night, and it's the question that we're going to explore together. So, if time and space are not as straightforward as we think, could it be that the past might still be out there somewhere? What if time and space are not static, but rather an unfolding story, a cosmic drama in which we are both the actors and the audience? Now, let's delve deeper into this thought-provoking concept. Imagine for a moment the universe as a grand theater, with its stage set against the backdrop of infiniteness. In this theater, every action we take, every decision we make, casts ripples across the fabric of time and space. These ripples, like lines in a script, contribute to the story of our existence, shaping our past, present, and future. But what are these ripples? They are nothing but energy, energy that we release every moment. Energy, as we know, cannot be created or destroyed, but only transformed from one form to another. So, when we act or decide, we are essentially transforming our internal energy into an external one, imprinting it onto the canvas of the cosmos. Now let's consider time and space again. They are not mere backdrops, but dynamic entities, interwoven and inseparable, constantly in flux under the influence of these energy ripples. They flex, they bend, they warp, adapting to the energy we feed them. This is a key tenet of the theory of relativity, a principle that revolutionized our understanding of the universe. So we find ourselves in a cosmic drama, where we are not only the actors but also the playwrights. Our actions and decisions are the quill, time and space the parchment, and the energy, the ink. We write the story, scene by scene, act by act, creating a narrative that's uniquely ours. But here's a fascinating thought to ponder. If our actions and decisions write the story of our time and space, could the past chapters of this story be still playing out somewhere in the cosmos? Could the echoes of our past still be reverberating, telling tales of our yesterdays in distant corners of the universe? And if so, what does it mean for our understanding of the past as we know it? These are questions that continue to ignite the curiosity of the cosmos explorers. Imagine the cosmos as a grand tapestry, with threads of time and space weaving together the story of everything that ever was, is, and will be. In this vast cosmic tapestry, every moment is captured, every event chronicled, every memory preserved. Picture threads of time and space intertwined, each strand representing a moment, an era, a slice of reality. These threads weave together, forming a complex, intricate pattern that tells the story of the universe. The past is not merely a series of events that have come and gone. Instead, envision it as a rich, vibrant part of the tapestry that has been woven and remains intact. Each past event, every moment that has transpired, is still there, embedded in the fabric of the cosmos. Now think about the present. It's the thread currently being woven into this cosmic tapestry, continuously adding to the pattern, the story. It's a fleeting moment, always moving, always changing. But once it passes, it joins the past in the grand design. 
And the future? It's the unwoven thread, the part of the tapestry that is yet to be formed. It's the potential, the possibility, the unknown. It's the continuation of the story that began with the first thread, the first moment of time. But here's a thought to ponder. If the past is an integral part of this cosmic tapestry, if every event, every moment that has ever occurred still exists in some form, what does that mean for our understanding of time, space, and reality? Could it be that time is not linear as we perceive but rather a vast, interconnected web of moments? Could it be that the past, present, and future are not separate entities but rather different aspects of the same cosmic tapestry? If the past threads still exist in the cosmic tapestry, what does that mean for our understanding of time, space, and reality? So, does the past still exist, or is it forever lost to the annals of time and space? As we delve deeper into this cosmic conundrum, we're reminded of the intricate dance of time and space, an eternal ballet that unfolds across the vast cosmic stage. In the grand scheme of things, the past is like a trail of stardust left behind by a brilliant comet. We can trace its path, study its trajectory and marvel at its splendor, but can we ever truly touch it? Can we reach out into the ether, part the cosmic curtains and step back into the past? Perhaps not. But that doesn't mean the past has ceased to exist. The past in many ways is as real as the present. It's imprinted in the cosmos, etched in the stars and woven into the very fabric of space and time. It's in the echoes of ancient starlight that reach our eyes, the cosmic background radiation that whispers tales of the universe's fiery birth, and the gravitational waves that ripple across the cosmos, carrying messages from distant cosmic events. Yet, the past remains elusive. It's a shadowy realm that exists just beyond our grasp, a realm that we can explore only through the lens of memory and the tools of science. It's a realm that's as mysterious and complex as the cosmos itself, a realm that continues to baffle us, challenge us, and inspire us. In the end, the question isn't so much whether the past still exists, but rather, how we perceive it. The past is more than just a collection of moments that have come and gone. It's a tapestry of experiences, a mosaic of memories, and a testament to our journey through the cosmos. We may never fully understand the nature of time and space or unravel all the mysteries of the cosmos, but that's the beauty of it. It keeps us curious, keeps us questioning, and keeps us exploring. Despite our best efforts to unravel the mysteries of time and space, the question remains, does the past still exist? Perhaps the answer lies not in the cosmos, but within ourselves. As we part ways, remember that the cosmos is not just a place, but a story, a tapestry, a mystery waiting to be explored. We've delved into the enigma of the past, unraveled the intertwining threads of time and space, and pondered the question, does the past still exist? In our journey, we've seen that the past, present, and future may not be as distinct as we once believed. They are parts of a grand cosmic tapestry, woven together by the threads of space and time. And as we've discovered, the past is a realm not just of memory, but of reality, persisting in the fabric of the cosmos. So continue to explore, to question, to marvel at the mysteries of the universe. The cosmos is not just a place to visit, but a story to unfold, a puzzle to solve, a wonder to behold. Until next time, keep looking up, keep wondering, and remember, the cosmos is more than just a place, it's a story waiting to be told.